Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. I didn't get anything else from the collection. The eyeshadow palette just really stuck out to me when I saw it. Um, this, besides my little Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, this is the only other palette that I've ever purchased and tried out from Urban Decay. Only because I loved the colors in this palette like this is gorgeous i love the purples down here i love the green blues here i also love that they have some nice orangey tones right in here there's just a lot that you can achieve with this palette you can do daytime nighttime a lot of different colors that you can do and i just really like the overall theme of it and i also really like the packaging of this palette um, it is a more like no, it's not cardboard. It's more of a plasticky packaging. So it is a lot more sturdy I love the front of this like all the images all around this I also like that if you open up the box, it's like a map. I think this is really cool I really like their concept that they did here with this So I mean I kind of had a lot to say about this and you will hear it in the video Um, I like that they have a nice big mirror in here so if you're curious to know my thoughts on this palette, just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I already have my eyes primed and set. I use the Tarte Shape Tape Eye Primer to prime and to set. I use the Wet n Wild um, Eyeshadow and Brulee because this palette does not have a matte bone shade to set this. And this primer definitely doesn't need to be set down. Um, the lightest shade they have in here is this one right here in breakaway but this one has a good amount of shimmer not shimmer it's like got a good sheen to it that I don't like shedding setting my eyes with and the next lightest matte shade is this one right here in weekender but that's way too dark for me that's actually going to be what I use in my crease so going in with a morphe m504 brush of course and going in with that weekender shade right here I'm going to just start putting this in my crease. I think I'm going to do something with these purples right over here, right here and here, um, Hellride and Wild Heart. They just look so beautiful and I don't play with color a lot. So this looks like it's going to be a little bit more pigmented in the pan. And let me just show you me dipping into that, the fallout going down to all these other colors. So, I mean, they are a little bit softer. So there is a little bit more fallout. I'm gonna build that up a little bit more. I mean, there is pigment there, but it's just not as pigmented as I was thinking it was going to be. But it is pretty good since it's just a transition shade. That's okay. Next, I think I'm going to go in with the color next to it in Still Shot, this really pretty coral, coral color right there. And for that, I'm just going to take a Morphe M433 brush. Same with this one. It looks like it's going to be a little bit more... Um, pigmented in the pan and when I went to Ulta I did swatch a couple of these shades and they look and they swatched very nice and pigmented but that's also one reason why when I do my first impressions I don't really like to swatch eyeshadows and show you because it's not they'll swatch amazingly but then they can perform completely different on the eye so I just like to go in on with the eye I mean, there is color there. It is putting pigment down. It's just, I thought it was going to be a little bit more pigmented. I'm just having to build it up a little bit more. And the same with this. There's a lot of fallout going down to the other shades. And then right here, there's a lot of fallout on my eye. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that up because it's driving me crazy. So next I'm going to start working with purples. So I'm going to take Hellride, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to start working that in the outer part of my eye and bringing it into the crease a little bit. And for that, I'm going to be using a Morphe M506 brush, which is this little tiny brush right here. I 
really like this brush. I picked it up when I bought my stuff for my full face of first impressions and I really like it. It's very nice and tiny and perfect for getting like low into the crease like this. So I kind of covered up that coral shade and I do want it to show through. So I'm just going to go back into that still shot color and just very lightly blend out the top of this purple. Okay. I wish this purple would show up a little bit more pigmented. So I'm going to add just a little bit more color. I'm going to take that first Morphe M504 brush. I'm not going to add any extra product and I'm just kind of run this over everything, blend everything together just a little bit more. I feel like I'm getting some patchiness with the blending of the purple and I don't know if that's the primer or but I'm still kind of testing out this primer. I feel like I keep losing colors every time I like blend. So I keep having to add on top. Like just keep adding and adding and adding. I don't really like that. It's like it's not blending in together. It's just all disappearing. So I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take Wild Heart, which is this one right here right below Hellride, and I'm going to start putting this on the inner part of my lid. I'm going to try it dry, and then I'm going to, if I don't like it, I'll wet my brush and see what how it looks. So let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to have to wet the brush on this one. Mm-hmm. Kind of nothing showing up. Okay, so let me wet my brush. Just using my Mario Badescu um, facial spray. Oh yeah, that's a lot, lot better. There is a lot of fallout with this shimmer shade though. It just feels very dry. I don't know, I feel like the more I pack on top of it, it kind of goes away. Now I'm just going to take that same brush and I'm going to take Guilt Trip right here which is just like a deeper purple color and I think I'm going to add that to the outer part of my eye. I have a feeling it's going to be the same. Yeah, these are really crumbly. I feel like in my crease, a lot of the matte purple color I put down is coming up. I don't, oh my god, look at all this fallout. Well, everything's just like disappearing as I blend. I don't know, I'm just not liking these shimmery colors on the lid, so I think I'm just gonna take Hell Ride and just kind of smear it over everything. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna leave it at this because those shimmery shades, I just didn't really like the way they were, they're formulated. They're a little too crumbly and they're not pigmented enough. Even when wetting them, I felt like it just didn't stick to my eye. And they everything just blends into each other and it just becomes like really muddy. So I was trying to blend out the shimmery shades to blend into the matte shades and they just all, everything just kind of disappeared into each other. So I'm just, I kind of just put the Hell Ride color all over my lid and now I'm just adding a little bit of Still Shot to blend it out. I'm gonna go um, put my face makeup on and then I'm gonna come back and finish my eyes and then I will give you my final thoughts on this palette. Okay, so I have everything on my face. I even added some mascara and lashes. So now I'm going to finish under my eyes and everything. 
And then I think I'm gonna use a little bit of the black in here to um, go over the lash band with. So I'm gonna do that first. I can't tell, I think this black isn't completely matte, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it anyway. It's this one right here in Jet. I think it does have a little bit of sheen to it, but we are going to use it anyway. And these lashes I'm using are the Tarte, um, Tardis Pearl Lashes in Little Black Dress. They are super natural. They are gorgeous and I love them. I have all this fallout on my face now. And let me wipe it away very carefully because it is black and I don't want it to um, like drag across my skin. Even though it did just a little bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna tap my powder brush back on top of that. So I'm gonna take Hell Ride on this little Morphe M432 brush and get that as close to the lash line as possible because with it being purple, you want to be really careful how smoky you get it under your um, lash line because you don't want to look like you're bruising black eye or anything. So I'm just going to get this really close. Now I'm going to take that Morphe brush that I was going to take before for this little detailed one and I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of still shot mixed with weekender those two shades that I put in my crease and buff that out that way it's not so so purple last thing I have to do is just add an inner corner highlight because I'm really it's missing so I'm gonna take this first color right here and break away and add that to the inner corner See, it's like a nice sheen, but it's not straight glitter. That's why I didn't want to set my eyes with it because it does have that sheen. Okay, well that is it. That's the final look. What do you guys think? I really like it because I love the way the purple and the coral, coral color kind of go together. So I really do like the colors in this palette. Um, that's the only reason why I picked it up. I really love the colors and this is like the first Urban Decay palette that I was really excited to try. I think I just want to play with a little bit more. Maybe it's the colors, maybe it's the primer I use. Um, I want to see what else this I can do with this because I'm really liking this color right here in Baja, this orangey color. It's really beautiful. I really love orange toned eyeshadows and I've been trying to challenge myself to stray away from it. So... That's why I went with the purple. Purple is really gorgeous. I'm a little disappointed in the um, formulation of the, um, they say they're jeweled and metallic. So I guess these are technically the metallics right here, which honestly, they swatch better than what they do on, with, than what they look on the eyes. So, that's something to think about. Maybe it's just a specific purple color. Like I said, I really want to work with more of these, especially somewhere down here in this green, um, bluish area. The mattes are really nice. They were really easy to blend, but then again, I felt like sometimes I kept having to add product because when I'd add another color on top, it was just blended all away. But I finally got it to where it everything stayed and you can see everything. So I really do like this palette. It's just something that I'm gonna have to play with a little bit more. Um, I love that you get a lot of shades, but is the formula really worth paying the price? Um, I don't know, maybe. I guess it just depends on how much you're willing to work and blend out colors because you do have to work a little bit harder with this specific palette than you do with other palettes. So, I mean, I like it. I'm going to continue to use it and play with the metallic jewel tones, whatever you want to call them, a little bit more. See if maybe um, if I use like a different um, spray to wet my brush or something, just to get them to work a little bit better. So overall, I do really like this palette and I'm kind of glad that I did pick it up. That is actually it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Also turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I post a video. You can also follow me on Instagram. It's pretty much the only place that I put up 
when I post. Um, it automatically posts to my Twitter as well when I post a new video. So you can also follow me on there. You can follow me on Snapchat as well. I just don't really post that much on Snapchat. So those are the three places you can follow me. I'll have that linked in the description box down below. Also, I'll have everything that else that I have on my face linked down there so you guys know. Um, yes. But most of what's on my face is going to be in my next week's full face of first impressions video anyway. So you guys will see my thoughts on everything else as well. I don't think I have anything else to say except I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye guys.